I'm good. Niggas with the bag. They tell me I look like G. <laughs> Dumb. That's racism, <laughs> dumb. Your lips is not. Niggas just straight, yeah, you look like Jay Z. I'm like. <clears throat> Point right. them niggas out. I don't follow them right now, one by one. Yeah, I'm still cool with a couple. I would I would remember that shit. Dude. I'm gonna still the bros. <laughs> so still the bros. Who, you still be kicking with some people from there? Yeah, hell yeah. A couple. Not too many, but a couple. Yeah, there you go. I just went to Kaya like yesterday. For real? Yeah. That's my dog. That's my dog. Our people had a cookout for her. Damn. Like my mother had a cookout like every year for the fam. Damn. You know, I be popping up. <laughs> Damn. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm ta- I need to tap in. Yeah, I be fun with a couple people from, from middle school. Couple. Like Ayana. Mm. Couple, couple people from middle school. Not a lot of Jewel. Yeah, no. I'd probably Kamari last, probably for me, probably Kamari. Yeah, Kamari for sure. That's yeah, my that's dog. Probably- that was probably the last oh, question God, I was with. Well, I just, uh, cause, you'll swear he know more, uh, Caribbean songs. Uh, he YT do, though. people songs. I think he do, though. He was bumping that shit you then. Gonna, you gonna do that? I'm sorry, He's bro. gonna take it over me. I ain't never uh, seen you sing that. He be actually singing. He's gonna, actually singing that shit. I'm saying. You'll be, you'll be here with it. That's what, that's the only thing. So it's like he a good competitor. And then kind of that, like we can really go song for song. Mm. They can switch the genre, go song for song, go hit for hit. Like really have our own verses. Yeah, no. that's my dog too. I can't, I can't. I don't. I, don't, I was those those conversations. I probably tapped out of. Christian. I did not know she was out of that. Christian. Oh hell yeah, Christian. Christian. Forgot. Yeah, him too. I I talked I talked to him recently too. That's my guy too. Them the guy. But you know it'd be all like uh. Different life paths, different schedules. So it's not like a everyday thing, but for sure them I'm still the bros for sure. Shit. Sure. What's 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 up with you? Sunday? What you what you do yesterday? Yesterday, yesterday. What was yesterday? Saturday? Saturday? Did you get lit? No. I don't remember what I did. I think I was in a crib mm. uh, all day. I was we were supposed to do this yesterday. We was? I thought it was Friday we were supposed oh, to do no, it. Oh no, it wasn't. Was it? I don't I don't I don't even remember either. It wasn't Friday. It could have been Friday. Was it Thursday? It was, like a, it was a Tuesday. It was a Tuesday? Because Monday, I got injured. That's why I ain't come, bro. You got injured, dummy? I'm fucking back. And you know what's crazy? I wouldn't get my head done all that. I was fucking hurting on the way to get my head done. Driving my back. That bitch hurting, hurting while I'm getting my shit done. What happened to your back, then? Bro, somebody checked me like... <laughs> Like, it wasn't even like a football. Yeah, it was, Ooh. and it was my old, own team. That's shit. what I'm saying. Like I'm all this. Then we playing full court. Like I'm already running up the, the back and forth, oh, exhausted. No. I come down. I'm playing defense. My own teammate just boosh. I look up on the floor like, I mean, what you crack me for? Like we on the same team. I went to go hoop again. Mm-hmm. Later. You ain't get no, you ain't get no, uh, what's that shit called? The ice shit? You, no, on, you ain't get none of that? Bio freeze? No, I ain't failed it till like my, at the, I did the second hoop session. Mm. And, and I sat with gym. Mm. You feel me? And the, that gym was like, it was still like a full court, but it wasn't as big as the other full court, so we can get up and down faster. Okay. You, so you know we running back and forth quick as hell. That's hella more suicide. You feel me? I don't know if my lungs like that. No, I haven't ran like that since, in like, probably a couple months ago. You might still got like, I feel like you, you're still having it. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like just one good. You will know it in your body. Your body will tell you like, damn, nigga, it's been a minute. But you like, you yeah, warm up to it. You, you, you feel me? Yeah, you'll be good. You'll be good. Trust me. Shit. Uh, I be trying to dunk on niggas. You be trying to dunk on niggas. I feel like I'm really the best. I ain't gonna say it. Let's let's do. I ain't gonna be. I ain't gonna be. Who who we talking with here today? Or who's who's the, who's here today? Benji Picasso, the one and only. BCB the team, man. Busy chasing Benjis. You already know who it is and who it ain't. And we here with... That nigga. The, the other nigga interviewing. I'm going to interview today. They don't know that. I'm just an interview. They don't know the chemistry. They know, but they know they, you. They know me. That's your shit. Uh, it's something like that. It's your shit. No, it ain't something like I said. This is, this is Say it with platform. your chest. This is my platform. I take that. This is my I platform. I take that. Shit, um, we here for another week, another big episode. I've been waiting for this shit. I'm excited for this. I'm just Some happy just to, just to, oh, let's let's take, let's start this with a shot. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna get drunk on this episode. I took a couple of them signs before. We're gonna, we're gonna get drunk. He doesn't have a chaser. He's he's ch- I have a chaser. This apple juice. Can't be chasing. Why they chase the money? <laughs> <laughs> I need to chase this thing. 
Oh, it ain't chasing the. I can't drink shots like that, bro. I really be about to throw up. I feel you. I used to be like that, but you got. Yeah, it don't even really be. It don't even be the shot itself. It be that taste. Mm. Like even when I'm drunk and shit and I start throwing up, it just because I had that taste in my mouth for so long. Like when you wake up and you that shit just ain't don't want to brush your teeth. That shit ain't. Want to lay in the bed and scroll. Get I can't scroll. I can't do that. I can't do that no more because I really get be in there all day. Like, I'm not be the time like be right that there. That shit be gone. But um, what's so up? Last time, last time I seen you, you wasn't you wasn't viral. So we need to talk about this first. Like niggas, <laughs> niggas asking you for pictures and shit. <laughs> How like, what's going on? What happened? You know what happened? Yo, funny as shit. Uh, I just been working. Like that's all I can say. Like uh, I ain't where I want to be mm-hmm. just yet. But you feel me? I've been working. You know, we were rapping since middle school. You know that. Yes, we have been. You feel me? So it be like, what we gonna do now? We not in school no more. Mm-hmm. There's no pet rally for niggas. Mm-hmm. There's no law. School function or school project, it ain't nothing. We gotta make some shit by ourselves. So it's like, I just been looking at the people before me, like little artists, you know, what they be doing. Even artists in the city, like how they be dropping. Mm-hmm. I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna drop. Spinrilla, you was, was dropping them you up. Feel me? Spinrilla, we dropping. Like Nemo, I still had that shit on YouTube. <laughs> Oh, I never even dropped that chat. I'm listening to the TikTok. Fuck it. I never even dropped that chat. I got that. I got that's your favorite again. That shit caught like I don't know. I would, bro. My man's black. I'm mad he not here. I was hitting you. I should have called him. He probably sleep though. But he probably on dad duty. But that nigga, he got the stool in his basement for real. Mm-hmm. And yo, uh, I remember your first started making niggas do that shit. We was trash on it, but the, the sound got way much better. Mm-hmm. So now they just being that bitch. How how long you feel? How far? How long? If you could name a time, like if you could put it down to a number of time, how how long did it take for you to get to that point? What this like? This like year seven, so I want to say probably like year four, maybe year three, because it was on some maybe year five, mm. because we had to really learn how to record ourselves, like engineer oh, ourselves. Yeah. But it was on the tip where like niggas had to really master like freestyle mm-hmm. or like punching in. Mm-hmm. And it don't even be just like punching in. It be like really holding yourself accountable when you punch in. Like, nigga, <laughs> did you just punch in some bullshit? Or did you punch in yeah. something that was actually hard that go with the song, go with the message, or whatever the case may be? Or is it that type of song where, even that word, I don't feel like, or you just saying some dumb that ass shit? shit. Was, that shit you was just floating. It wasn't even yeah. mad or the word. You just floating. It just be the time and the shit. Like, if you really sit there and really practice, 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 that shit would be like, even if you sit there and write. Mm-hmm. I'm really can't record that ADHD shit. I be my mom be elsewhere like. Pee, pee, pee. It's 2024. Everybody got yeah, ADHD. Yeah, but you I feel like that's, <laughs> that's how I feel. Honestly, <laughs> niggas had to get diagnosed before then. Yeah, like, you, you feel? Yeah, you had to <laughs> been had your diagnosed like since you was a young and like you can't just wake up and type that shit in like yeah do I do this and this and that yeah, yeah I got ADHD nah we not on that but it be like that like you can't really try to. You know what I'm saying? Imitate nobody. You just got to go on that bitch and create. Really feel the music. Really mm. feel like, nigga, what this beat make you feel? You feel me? Uh, how am I feeling? Type shit. Like, going into the yo, am I in a happy mood? Am I in a sad mood? Do oh, I yeah. got some shit I want to get off my chest? Okay. Is my mind just clear? Is we just going in this bitch, catching a feel, catching a vibe? Mm. We sold, but we high, we drunk. You know what I'm saying? It just be practicing it. How you feel. Energy okay. and practice. Put that bitch together. And a lot of time. A lot of time. A lot of people don't time. realize that shit. Real a lot shit. of time. But it be money, too. That shit cost money. Oh, hell yeah. That shit cost money. That shit is expensive. And it be like, you never know what song going to go viral, what song going mm-hmm. to hit. To uh, us as a creator, we feel like everyone is the one. As, as the creator, you know. I be listening back to my shit like, this nigga so hard. <laughs> like, this nigga so hard. Some shit I be saying, I be like, damn, boy. I be looking at this nigga like, hey, yo, you heard that nigga? I be no, part of like... You heard that nigga? You don't you don't really you don't really you don't really know you don't really um you don't really tell but one thing that any advice I can get to any upcoming artist that you can't wait until nobody say it's your heart, you have to be your number one fan. You, if you don't you don't if you're not your number one fan, you don't like the way that shit sound, and like that shit not for you, gang. Gem. That's a gem right there. Write that down. Ho- hope hope you got your pen in your paper because we getting drunk and we That's just, a gem. Just, you might catch a lot of gems. Shorty, you write you write you write me right too, Shorty. Catch them gems. And that's they don't even gotta be with music. That's with anything. Mm-hmm. With anything. Learn how to ride a bike. Them niggas telling LeBron James Jr. that he gonna be some shit. Do you think he's really gonna hoop with his father? 
Uh, not off the rip. I feel like LeBron definitely gonna be able to make it happen. That's LeBron. He'd make anything happen. For sure, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> We've seen it before. That's he made hell of shit. Game on lock. But yeah, just fucking LeBron. I'm pretty sure if he wanna play with his son when he get drafted, he can get a trade. At least, even if he that nigga old and he in the he in the, he in the practice. If I'm not, practice. if I'm not mistaken, this your year to even be a free agent or unrestricted or some shit, they can match the contract. Some oh. shit like that. So you think he might go back to Miami? He could. Who gonna take him? Who gonna take Bronny? My, Miami dying for another big three. Who gonna take Bronny? Anybody take Bronny? He might just. He said it already. So that's like that's damn near like guaranteeing your son in the league. Damn, I'm jealous of that nigga. Nigga, Rich Paul is his agent. You know who Rich Paul? No, I don't know who that is. Rich Paul is LeBron James' agent. Rich Paul, the richest, one of the richest sports agents. He probably like top three, top five. Damn. And he black. He black? Yeah. Shit. His name Rich Paul. I don't know if that's your government where he changed his shit to Rich, but your name Rich Paul for real. He better have changed his shit. I, I, mm-hmm. Your name Rich Paul. Black people not naming their kids Rich. But that's LeBron agent and that's Brownie agent. Okay. And then your only two uh, teams he fucking with is like the Suns and like one other team. And they okay. got you at like the... 24th pick or some shit like that. Joe stopped already. Well, but he can hoop. He, I just feel like he can't hoop though. I think I think they just be talking down because of the hype type shit. It don't be that. It just be more so like they want this nigga to be his father. They want him to be that number one option, dog ass, bang on nigga, all that. They not. He not gonna play them. But he don't want to play like that. He, he wants, wasn't even raised like that. Fucking LeBron was broke in Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> no, I be playing with LeBron to be telling nigga like I'm from Akron. Every time I bang something like nigga, I'm from Akron, nigga. Y'all ain't y'all ain't watch. Brownie don't know that shit like Brownie that. don't know that. He from LA. He had a maid by the time. Matter of fact, he from he might be from out there. No, he's from well, LA. He from the birds, like he from the birds. He's from LA. He was born in LA. Oh, is he from? I Miami? think he was born in LA. He might be. What LeBron had yo? Shorty, was, you ain't, you ain't where Google at? You supposed to be? He was. He was. <laughs> <laughs> Like, he was at the uh you can act like um Batman in the Oracle. Like, what a shorty ain't you never get back to you and tell you all the details or nothing. Mm. Think you'll still make it out. Mm-mm. Think he need a shorty? It's Batman though. <laughs> we did, we did. Batman need his butler to this day. His butler. He still butler Batman his, his butler he, definitely was needed. That's what I'm saying. Like And he needed Robin. He definitely needed a couple. Batman is a needy nigga. Did everybody have we we going off track. All right, let's get back to let's get back to the music. We supposed to be talking about music. We <laughs> going off track. Um, what's, what, what, I want to talk about your first time, quote unquote, going viral, and the POV. Walk me through it. Damn. What was you doing? Uh, I think I went viral with this song called "Missing Me." Mm-hmm. It's the uh, if you ever heard the Shy Glizzy song. Yeah, I know. I fought with Shy Glizzy. It's the uh, it's a war started outside. I don't want to talk. I think like it or not, you, 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 you can tell that you like Shot Glizzy. And me yeah, I fuck with Shot Glizzy. I fuck with Shot Glizzy. It's a couple of shit I still be bumming. I fuck with Shot Glizzy. Like, niggas don't be bumming your taste. I be down with your shit. He, he all right. He like, it be on some shit like, yo, one of the first niggas from around this region that was blown. You feel me? So from a nigga who was trying to rap since a young, it be like, damn. But boom. Plus you different. But yeah, answer the question. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. But I had uh, did that. I think I was I had just transferred out Milford. I think. Yeah. Oh, I was out there already and then this was like the following year, but either way I had posted that. A lot of people was fucking with it. Like Jay Hill was fucking with it. I did like a little showcase with y'all. Mm-hmm. Couple people like I did a couple little showcases. Some shit like that. People just like reaching out, gaining a couple followers. People was fun with that song, fun with that video, but that was only on like YouTube, Spinrilla. Like the video was on YouTube, the song like was on Spinrilla. Was still out. Yeah, you feel me? So it was like viral on some kind of little shit. Like a lot of people was knowing me because of that, mm-hmm. but it wasn't like too big. I was fine with that though, but that was like my first little yeah. Back, back then, that was viral. If you was viral with Spinrilla, that was viral. Like that was way before TikTok and nah, all that shit. See what crushed my, what, what gained my motivation to even say fuck Spinrilla was a nigga. Look, that's when I had the song going viral in the school. Mm-hmm. And the one shorty, like we was on like cutting class or something. And the one shorty was like telling the nigga like, yeah, like, yeah, he be rapping like he hard. This shit going crazy. Like, everybody be fun with shit in the school. Da, da, da. Nigga straight looked at me. He was like, yeah, your shit. I don't act with music, Spotify. I'm not bumping that shit. <laughs> Put my phone straight back in my pocket. Damn. Like, damn, I spent real. I speak motivated myself to get on that shit. Mm-hmm. I think I asked you uh, how you dropped your shit. Did I tell you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, I hope I did. Shoot. I, I'm pretty sure it was you. 
You was already you already had your shit. And I think I asked you like how you get your shit on streaming platforms. Your memory is way better than mine. So yeah, I, I think you was using TuneCore at the time though, mm-hmm. versus uh, Distro. Distro, yeah, you, you, it was like I got a, both of them. It was in the moment when you stopped using TuneCore as much, and you were like, yeah, you ready fuck with Distro? Oh, you think I should fuck with that one? I think that that's how now. Now when I'm starting to find out, like I try to do like if I if it was up to me, like more so. Like collecting like the streams like everywhere type shit. TuneCore is good for like albums type shit and bigger bodies of work more so. And then I think Distro Kid, I like when you just dropping like right. man, I like Distro Kid for that. I just be driving on Distro. You know, I mean, it, I mean to do like it, it, it's all. I don't really take thing. no deep dive. I just be wanting something to go. Like as long as the song go, I don't really care because once it get to like the major part, mm. it'll be like they take care of all that extra. Yeah, and then out in distribution and shit. Yeah, they don't even plus plus. That's not even the type of um, industry we're in right now. That's not even yeah. the type of albums. And it's not listening to albums right now. Yeah, I'm, I guess I'm still old thinking about album down. I wish people start listening to albums again because it'd be like, if you don't listen to albums, then what do people put out? Like, what is there for niggas to listen to? Just a whole bunch no, of nobody admire the body of work anymore. Nobody just a whole really bunch of ice spices. That's just what it is. But it'd be like. Okay, the shit catchy, like, don't get me wrong. Sexy Red, Ice Spice, them little bitches be, not nah, not little bitches, but they be catchy, like, don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. I was getting my head on the little, the lady was bumping the, uh, get it sexy. That shit so catchy, and I was saying it. Sexy. Nah. Was that the, the phone? phone, it's the phone. I was saying, like, uh, it sounded like a little nursery rhyme, like, not on a bad one, like, I'm trying to discredit her pen or whatever the case may be, but it's not like a nursery rhyme, like, it's something catchy, like, it's something you can repeat, it's something you could jig to, and then it's, it got that adult rated R type of uh, lyric to it. Mm-hmm. So, of course, niggas gonna jig to it, of course, niggas gonna fuck with it. These bitches love ratchet shit. Love that ratchet shit. Love it. I you feel like this me? whole Zeus, sexy it's catchy. Era, it's catchy. It's like, it's niggas catchy. gonna talk about this 40 it's years catchy. from now. It's very catchy. You can't knock it. You feel me? So just because they don't really want that body of work, they want something more catchy and something they can just jig to for the moment. Okay. That's cool. You living it, you gotta understand, people have been through a lot in these past couple years since 2020. Of course, niggas want to live in the moment. And yeah, you just right. escape for a little second. Everybody's still trying you know to be saying? outside, you know what I'm saying? Everybody trying to be outside. That's what they want, outside mm-hmm. music. Like, niggas want to hear something and be like, yeah, we outside, but let's turn up. We lit. Niggas don't really want to hear too much pain no more. We done been through too much pain. They don't want to be sad. Yeah, for real, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real. But, but I mean, the only person, I feel like the only person that, that's really, that's dropping the sad shit and still is still selling records is Rod Wave. Like, yeah, got, but. Yeah, that's like a whole different thing. And that's what I tell people about Rod Wave. They say his music is sad, but I say his music is reflective. Mm. When everybody when everybody listen to his music, it puts you in not even his shoes, but it puts you in your own shoes. Like, damn, you might have been going through the same exact thing you'll be going through. Hell yeah. Like, uh, he got the Thief in the Night joint. Where he mm. be saying, like, this the first time, second time we beefing. We back and forth. And, like, Niggas was feeling that across the country. Everybody felt like, you know when you into it with your little shorty, you fronting with it. Like, y'all might beef a couple of times, so y'all not fronting with each other. It probably won't even be that deep. Y'all get back right back. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody you, can relate to that ratchet you shit. You feel me? That's ratchet shit. Be but cool. he's singing that shit, making it harmonized. Like, you got to feel him. He just expressing it. Was that nigga? He was singing in jail, wasn't he? In jail? Oh, he was That was he was in high school. High school, I believe. He was singing in high school. I don't even think they got real footage of you in jail. Yeah, he, I don't think he was in jail. Like I think I'm, I'm getting him mixed up with finesse two times. Like, that nigga, <laughs> yeah, he was in jail right, for sure. That nigga, nigga got a judge. whole flippergram of him in jail. <laughs> like every week he be posting that shit. I got, I got hit the water. You ain't, we don't got no chaser. My shit, as much as you poured in my shit, my Damn, shit. Damn, I need yeah. to catch up. Catch up, young. Yo, I can't drink like that. I, I'm, a, I'm a lady. I'm saying, young and old ass nigga. Hold up. Chill, chill. I'm not old, bro. I'm starting to realize. I'm, I'm interviewing these young niggas and shit. And I'm starting to realize I am, I am young. I was telling this nigga, this is like, yeah, like that. Niggas was doing the jerking shit. That shit corny. I was like, what? That's all I was doing. We definitely was jerking. I remember. Jerking in khakis. No, for real. That was the shit. Yeah. Like, she, girls didn't fuck with you if you ain't know how to how to do the pin drop shit. When that bitch came on, if you wasn't cutting air, mm. mop me, <laughs> bird flu Turkin <laughs> Avenue. Like if you ain't know how to do certain shit, just don't do it. Definitely. You get what I'm saying? You start yeah. doing that shit and you, you gotta know your lane too. You can't try to do all of them. Just I don't chill. know how to do all of them. I was chilling. I don't, do you know how to do all the dances? Nah. I don't know how to do all the dances. You can't dance. <laughs> See when I went to bros and shit, I dance. Uh-huh. And they'd tell me. Yo would tell me for sure. You can't dance. Mm-hmm. Stop dancing. I feel like the people that can't dance are the best dancers. But I be cutting. In my head I be cutting. I don't fuck what nobody saying. saying. 
But just for the simple fact that one too many people in private told me I can't dance, I never step out in public and dance. You feel me? You just gotta have that mental note. I want to see you dance. Nah, you might catch me on a on a on a tipsy day at an <laughs> event. A good song come on. I could catch the beat. Okay. That's all we gonna see from that. Let's, let's get back to this, let's get back to this music shit. Um. Fucking when the last the what's what's the um do you have a do you have a new song coming out? No. I just dropped a tape, I wanna say last I dropped the tape on thirty first. Mm-hmm. That's not last Friday, that's two Fridays ago. I've been bumping the flow this shit. I haven't I've been just bumping the flow this it's shit. Not, it's not the Friday that just passed. It's the uh Friday before that. But yeah, I just dropped that's actually the flow of the song, Spider Man. Mm-hmm. That's um actually on the tape. It's really an E P but tape. How many songs are there? Five. Five? That's the EP. Yeah, me and uh, No Signal, yo, yo uh, sent me some beats. Well, yo actually was in the studio with me. Like, he was, like, real hands-on with everything. Like, yo wanted oh, yeah. to be in there. Who yeah. was that done that to work with him? Uh, it was actually funny mm-hmm. because I be playing basketball with yo. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I know him, like, and on a on a personal side versus the business side. Like, okay, I understand. I done been in a space with yo where we not talking about music at all. We talking about hooping or some other shit. Like, you feel me? So, it was just different saying you'll be serious, but also be funny and be, like, really telling me, like, yo, don't say this. Nah, switch this. Switch your flow. Uh, mm-hmm. Keep that. Keep this. You get what I'm saying? So, he, it, you say he helps you with your... You, you feel me? Son. Like, if you really, if you really uh, listen to it, a lot of the stuff, like, like, um, on Ready, mm-hmm. uh, I barely... Matter of fact, on Spider-Man... I wasn't even rapping on the part when I'm like, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm yeah, just... Yeah, that's, that's definitely different. I was trying to just catch the little flow. I already done had, like, the first little part. He was in the studio with me, too. Like, as soon as the beat dropped, he told me, like, yeah, I want you to try this beat. Me and my mans made it. As soon as the beat dropped, I started rapping. I instantly said, put that drip on there every day, go check the cow. And they like, you sure you want to start it like that? You don't want to wait for the beat? I'm like, fuck that. We going out the flat. Like, we busting their head out the flat. Mm-hmm. Boom. So now... When I'm trying to catch that, I do them little four lines. I'm like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. He like, no, nah, keep that shit. Mm. Keep that. Like, I like that. That's like a little gunner, like. But just make it your own shit and flip it, like. And I kept rapping, and you see, you see how the song progressing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? So it'll be like, yo, will always give me his input in that bitch. If he feel like I'm doing wrong, mm-hmm. it's cool. If not, he's sitting there chilling, just waiting for the song to be done. You feel me? Just watching KB do his thing and chilling. If he got something to say, he gonna get up and say it. If not, he good. If I got a question to ask, you're ready to answer. You how how did you get tapped in with him? Uh, KB. Okay. K- I knew KB for a couple years now. KB oh. my dog. I don't watch your grow. Like, Joe really wanted him. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. And he humble. He humble. He real humble. But he one of the best engineers in Baltimore. Like, and he take his work seriously. You feel me? So I, I fuck with your butt. Him and No Signal, they got their own rapport. Mm. How they got their own rapport, I don't personally know. But they are a close partnership, friendship, whatever you want to call it. Okay. You feel me? Uh, he also be working with Lil Low. That's my dog, too. Okay. But um, they, I be cool with them. Like, I'm, I'm, I am I'm, be cool with Lil Low and uh, KB. You feel me? I be trying to call them, get a little input on my music and shit. Hopefully, they can give me some great insight, which they do. You feel me? But that's what I be hoping on them cause. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it was just like seeing them to, together. And I'm like, yeah, bro, I fuck with your beats, you know. I got some producers that I work with. Like, I want y'all to collab. Network. And then I want to work with you, too, as well. So it was uh-huh. like, bro, tap in. Like, they like, yeah, bro, I fuck with you. Like, you feel me? I hit y'all. He told me his prices, you feel me? We we talked about everything. He said he want to be in there. So I think I worked with y'all. It came to my house, actually, because KB was recording me in my house, out my closet. On out my the last closet? Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you remember you was recording me out of the closet? I ain't gonna lie, I got hella footage of recording out the closet. Uh you was recording me out my closet the mm-hmm. very first time you ever recorded me. I think I heard he had a song with Huncho mm-hmm. and I was damning him like, yo, let's work, like I got the money, like just let me know what you need. Like I know you you work with who you work with, you work with tech and all that, like mm-hmm. so I know like my strings compared to them. No you get what I'm saying? Yeah. My strings compared to their strings and what they do and their production and all that. Like, I know he coming with something good. I know I'm going to have to pay a little. Mm-hmm. We here with it. Just let me know what you need. Come on. So, KB done told me to DM. He a good guy. Came through. He did that. Uh, that was the first time I met him when he came to my house. He did three tracks, I want to say. It was Can I Vent? 
Benji Tuck and mm-hmm. Yippie Kaye with okay. uh, me and Two Ks. And he was just a cool guy. Like from the first day I met him, it was cool. It was, it's, imagine the great people you meet just off the just reaching yeah, out. Like real yeah, yeah. it was cool. Him KB came through. Bro was there like getting behind the scenes for it. I think like a couple more people was there, like two more people maybe. Uh, we did them songs, and then I was telling you like, yeah, niggas. Definitely, I still want to work with you. Like, you definitely got some good beats. You definitely talented. You feel me? And I'm really like, uh, I really be listening to the beats. You get what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So yeah, your beats are when your beats are definitely in more in depth. You're not just no NLE chopper shit. Appreciate you. No, for I real. appreciate you. Cause it I takes, be, it's, it's like it takes a, it takes a lot to your shit is together. It's, it's more thank curated. You know what I mean? You. Than just picking like I can, it's like you can certain things you you come on that shit. You can tell they typed in like NBA young boy. Yeah. Thing. So I be I be happy when like. Niggas are already send me some different shit. You get what I'm saying? Like, they shit already different. I don't gotta say like I want some different shit. You feel me? So that's why I be fun with my father. Yo, definitely one of them. So me and yo did that tape because I just hit yo like, yeah, bro, let's do a tape. Mm-hmm. Yo, like, fuck it, come on. Shit. Like five songs would be cool. Yeah, it was like five songs would be cool. Told me my numbers. It'd be good. We did our thing. Dropped it, mm-hmm. and that was out. A lot of a lot of people, a lot of up and coming artists. They not. They think they just like you get that shit just straight off the talent like type shit. Like it's, it's a lot of people. You gotta you gotta pay for your connection. A lot of people don't realize yeah. that. And then I be saying that like you always gotta pay to play with everything. Like no matter what it is. Like if it's an interview, if it's a fucking twenty v one. Like whether they paying you, you paying them. Mm-hmm. Some studio time engineer, producer. You always gotta. Maybe if they not trying to do it out the love, out the strength, mm-hmm. it always gotta be a little price to pay. You feel yeah. me? Especially if you want to work or if they want to work and make money out they work, it's always gonna be a little price. And mm-hmm. you shouldn't really have a problem with that if you respect the artistry and mm-hmm. you just gotta make that choice within yourself if that's what you're willing to spend your money on. Is it like is this a good investment? Day, at the end of the day, you are the boss to your own business. You, know what you feel me? You just gotta understand like is this a good investment for my business or mm-hmm. could I take this money and invest it elsewhere mm-hmm. and still make a better. You know what I'm saying? Better profit off of what I was going to do with the other situation. So now, what did, what did you now working to to so you said when you first met them, you started work with them. What's some of the things that you learned with them that they they, they taught you more so per se? Uh, to stop being so humble. Mm. You feel me? And it's like when I make my music, I don't want. I don't want to. Uh, what can I say? I don't want to come off as arrogant. You get what I'm saying? I don't want to come off as like. Oh, I'm that nigga. Cause I, even though that's how I feel, like you know what I'm saying, I still feel like I'm one of the best. I am the best. You feel me? That's how everybody supposed to feel. But yeah. at the same time, don't nobody want to hear that all day. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. That's trying hella conceited and shit. Nobody want to hear that. So, but they was telling me like, pop your shit a little bit. Like you get what I'm saying? Stop being that laid back ass nigga that you is. Go goofy, playful. You feel me? Pop your shit a little bit, so. No, for real. I, you could, I feel like it's a certain. I feel like it was a certain point. I, can't, I don't remember the, the goddamn song, but it was like a certain shift where, like, you could, you could, you could kind of tell where, you know, what I'm saying it was in the, it was in the sound, you know. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, facts, facts. I can feel that. People be saying that, like, uh, like the bros and shit, like, or people that I be talking to, like, if I ever really get to talk to them about my music, they really tell me, like, yeah, if you listen to your shit over the years, mm-hmm. you can tell, like. You done got that more like confident and sound with your sound. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it'd be like people just got you just gotta the people all right. The people who you working with can really boost you with their words and their energy. You get what I'm saying? So if it's like if they recording you or if they making your shit and they not really fucking with your shit, you might not even need that. But you get what I'm saying? Just them even saying that and putting that power in you uh, do so much for a person. You get what I'm saying? Or yeah. so much for all yeah. them saying like, bro, you hard. Bro, this mm-hmm. shit hard. We just made some hard shit. I love recording you. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, that shit was hard. This shit was clean as shit, bro. Like, little mm-hmm. shit, and it'll just boost like, you. I feel like in this in this day and age type shit, like that type of, being that type of person that's supportive, it's, it's been fucking, it's a, stig- it's a, it's a stigma. Like, they're like, oh, you, you, like, you dick riding. Like, yeah. And I feel like that's, especially in the, in the work that we in creating, creating these sounds and creating these vibes, we need shit like yeah, that. Yeah, bro, I, I never. Oh, I never. I never I thought you were going to I just come, I thought I did shit. <laughs> I ate that shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, no bullshit. That's real shit, though, but, like, all my, uh, like, rap friends that I'm cool with, I ain't even going to call them rap friends, because a lot of the rap friends that I know, like, I'm actually, I actually know them outside of rap, so, or knowing them before they really started rapping, but, like, they didn't tell you, like, 
I'm one of them niggas. I send if they ever send me an unreleased song or they ever got music that's out that I bump, I would send them they shit like, bro, you hard as shit or bro, you need to drop that shit. Mm. Ask any of them, Baby Joe, he ain't <laughs> dropped yet. <laughs> Bill, Black, fucking Low, mm-hmm. Lace, all them niggas that tell you like, nigga, a lot even niggas that I fuck with. Or I like their music or like they sound or what they did. I done be hitting niggas, yo, let's work or drop like your shit hard or send them some fire or some shit like that. Okay. Like, niggas, I I really show us some support to some niggas, but it be like to a certain extent. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Just because I don't want them to make it feel like a nigga want something out of or nothing. You feel me? Or a okay. nigga just trying. Because cause you know that's that's around niggas. The big yeah, round shit do be around. Yeah, they be around. Yeah. It do be around, but when it's genuine, a lot of the times it can still get misconstrued for mm-hmm. a nigga trying to leech or a nigga trying. Mm-hmm. So I keep it to a yeah, but I let niggas know for sure. I definitely fuck with your shit. No, I don't got no, no problem. Real. That's real I had no shit. problem with letting niggas that's know that. Niggas I had it's, no problem. It's, a lot of, it's not a lot of people doing that shit. A lot, of, a lot of people feel like, I feel like a lot of people, it's still people that's, that's acting like Instagram, don't you know how back before when Instagram first came out, we kind of like did, we thought like the celebrities was like on a really thought was on a different yeah. time. But now we starting to find out, like nigga, they got the same app that we do. <laughs> like, same app, same life, same feeling, same uh-huh. emotions, all that. For real. We just starting to realize it. It's okay. We all starting to realize it. Uh, what the fuck do you think about Ye, Kanye West? Uh, Sorry, it was kind of the... It's music, boom, you right. know. But I, I feel like you're a genius. But the music shit, like, yo, we gonna keep the music. Yo can't go wrong in my mm-hmm. eyes. Like, some sounds may be odd sometimes, but if you listen to yo, you really like that. He's growing on you. You gotta like grow on you. Yeah, you like that. You always gonna be like that. Are you though. voting for him? <laughs> now I don't wanna get political here, but are you voting for him? <laughs> voting for him for what? For president? Never. You never. don't think he can run the country? Never, never. You never. think he just he can run the studio though? He can run the studio. Like, <laughs> you gotta understand, but like. And it, you know what's so funny yeah. about that whole question? Mm-hmm. The nigga really can run for president, though. Like, the nigga really was in the yum. He was really in the polls and all <laughs> that. Like, that's the crazy thing. And that make you really look at this shit and be like, is this shit for real? How the fuck Kanye West able to really run for president? That mean when you, when niggas, you get what I'm saying? That mean when you was growing up and you was really telling your teacher and shit, like, well, tell us why you're going to be president. And they tell you, gonna be, that's real shit then. Cause what the fuck he ain't do no, he was never no attorney. He was he ain't, he ain't giving the back. What's the, the what's the highest attorney shit you can be? Congressman in the state or some shit. It's like state attorney, some shit like district attorney. What? <laughs> what's the? It's, yeah. I get what you saying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's the highest. I'm gonna look that shit up. Look but it up, though. we need to know the facts. You said what? You only gotta be 32 and have money to be a president. He said you only gotta. He said you only gotta be 32 and gotta have money to be president. Ain't gotta be tapped in. That's it. You gotta be tapped in. That's what I think. He's nuts running for president. You forgot. Man. No. I'm not. I didn't forget. I didn't forget. He's nuts running for president. I think I remember that. For the news. Yo, I think I Who ran for president? Tell me, his name was These Nuts. These Nuts. <laughs> I swear to God. Yo, he's, he's right, though. He got votes. These Nuts. That Look that out to you. Look that out to you. Yeah. <laughs> these Nuts for president. <laughs> Niggas is like, but you get what I'm saying though. But you get what, I, but you get my point. Yeah, yeah. The fact that these nuts is running for president <laughs> and make you really question, like, what the fuck is we voting for right now, bro? And the president handled foreign affairs. I don't think I want Kanye West talking to Kim Jong Un. Yeah, no. I do not want Kanye West talking to Kim Jong Un. He gonna try to bring that nigga to the studio. Around I don't want him talking to like. You get what I'm saying? It'd be like certain shit, I, but it then it'd be like the dickheads that they electing. I don't want them talking to them niggas either. This shit is monopolized, dummy. But it be like, who the fuck is putting these niggas in position? Somebody. They endorsing these niggas. Bro, I can't even really get, get to fathom let's all not this shit. Let's not, let's, not get the, let's, not, let's not get into conspiracies here. Let's not get I'm not voting for that nigga to answer your question. Oh, yeah, yeah. I would okay. never vote for that nigga. not vote for Kanye West. Um, nigga, I'm mad that I even be having to vote or whatever. <laughs> like, fuck. Like, I don't be knowing that shit either. Like right. I was listening. Uh, this is the last political thing I say. I was listening to the con- they was l- electing a new congressman, and they basically was talking to the person that's been congress this whole time. Project twenty twenty five. What's that? I've been hearing about that shit. They saying they canceling the fucking education, all that shit. No, that's something else. All right. This is a congress of, of, of the U S. Not in just Maryland. Oh, all right. This is the whole U S. Basically, right. basically, when COVID and stuff happened, he basically. 
said that the six feet thing and the whole mask thing wasn't a real thing like that. They didn't have to enforce that. But that's about it. But it's just like, damn, you just tell us we just found this out. Like, nah, but I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't doing that. I was playing basketball and all that. Yeah, we was we was up basketball every day. We was smoking with niggas. You ain't catch COVID? No, I caught. I look, I caught COVID. Uh. Cause somebody at my job mother had it. You what? <laughs> somebody at your job mother had nigga, it. Nigga, and I wasn't. I was fine. I just was positive, nigga. I was in my room, thoming, mad as shit. Mind just like, don't get out the room. I came home from hooping. I thought my body was just sore because I was hooping. No, that's that COVID. I went to see. I, well, I had a mean ass headache. Got social nigga, I got the vaccine and I felt like Come I got on, sick. Come on, yo, your life's gonna be a zombie. I got sick after, like I got sick. They gave me the vaccine and I literally was sick the next day. And they told me they was like, yo, you gonna be sick. Yo, I was like, yo, I'm never getting no more vaccines. I feel like I only got the flu shot, and I only got the flu shot because I was working at a nursing home. Basically, let's get, get away from this for for, for our YouTube shit get get blackballed. Um, yeah. Let's talk about for it's people that's watching this that that look that look up to both of us at, and that want to know that want to get into music too as well. What are some things that you feel like is key things that you need in your song? Like as far as anything, it could be the beat. Like what do you feel like the key three to five key things? I mean, you all you're creative. I'll, Sound. Uh-huh. Sound, it start with the sound. Mm-hmm. It'll never be nothing but the sound. You feel me? Period. When you making something, it could be some fucking poopity scoop. You get what I'm saying? It just start with the sound. It, a nigga can make the most plain shit, but if it sound good, bitches lost so so oh and I know and fucking with them oh, old boy. boy, you gonna get fucked over. Rarries. You get what I'm saying? The simplest shit, as long as the sound of that bitch, it sound good though. Mm. That's one thing. The sound, like it starts. That's, that's like that's like everything though. It's everything for real. That's everything. The sound is really everything. Like, and I be telling niggas that, and when a nigga leave the studio, if you you can't leave the studio and tell me that your shit don't sound mixed, sound off, like you can't hear that your shit sound garbage. You get what I'm saying? Mm. I'm not saying that your lyrics gotta be the most hard hitting, the heartfelt. They don't have to. They be don't gotta be the wisest, most intelligent. You feel me? I'm not saying that, but your sound itself has to bang. Mm. Your production and sound itself has to bang. Yeah, that's a deep question. That's 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 a that's a good answer. Yeah, sound for that's sure. That's a good answer. Cause you can get the best beat on earth and still make fuck the whole thing up. Real shit, nigga. I can't even. Like, uh, twin, What's where that? have you been? Oh, the TikTok. Yeah, the TikTok. You feel you me? You bumping that? That's in a good-ass song, yes. Okay. You ever listen to that whole song? The whole song? Yes. No. That's that, she got that, uh, that old-school R&B feel oh, on that Oh, yeah? Bitch. It did give off that. That's that work. I believe you for hit, because they be having some that hits. Hit. And the, the, uh, the unders and shit. Nobody. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, I'm trying to tell you. It'd okay. be the sound and shit, like, uh-huh. even uh, the four batch name. Okay, yeah. The sound. Yeah, it's just the sound. Even, like, the, the songs that went viral for shit. I might just slide by 8 p.m. Yeah, that boy, he floating on that bitch. He sent a text to your DM. I thought that was an angel. Nigga. You get what I'm saying? I thought that was an angel. He not even saying too much to niggas, but that shit sound heavenly. It's just the sound, the whole organic. The funk of that bitch, the bop. My man for weeks was telling me that shit was ass until he gave in. <laughs> Am I lying? Ooh. Wrong. For weeks he was saying that boy was ass, bro. I'm trying to tell you, he would not. He would not give bro his flowers. Damn. He wouldn't accept, even when yo came out with the other shit and that shit went viral too. He ain't want to even accept that yo went Damn. viral again. Until yo gave in. He had to give in. Yeah, I gave in the sexy red Glorilla. I gave in. Nah, Glorilla had my heart from the start. From the start. That's your <laughs> type. That's your type. That's why. Nah. <laughs> and before she got, before she got the, before nah. she got the titties, when she was skimpy dimpy. That's Not even like that, bro. I'm saying. <laughs> you gonna take a shot of that? Let's take a shot. Of that. You gonna take, take a, a shot? shot. <laughs> it was on some shit like her voice. You feel me? And she can rap. Lotto had my heart from the start too. Lotto, uh huh. Lotto. Okay. But you feel me? She had my heart from the start. I ain't gonna lie. They be rapping, and I, I we grew up on Nicki being our only female. Yeah, rapper. for real. That was hard. No, for real though. I can't recall like 
see that niggas going to hate me because they going to say. Niggas not going to hate you. This is the best platform to be on. They going to say it, What's was, the it was other motherfuckers. I don't personally They going to say it was other little shorties out here rapping. But I'm saying they wasn't rapping. They wasn't. They wasn't. They wasn't rapping. That's all I'm going to say for like 15 years. Maybe mm-hmm. till Cardi B came. Just yeah. about. Just about maybe. Just about. You you you, 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 um, you disagree, Shorty? You got any female rappers we missing out on? I don't think. I feel like Nicki was in this bitch by herself for a minute. Dolo. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's why niggas get so mad at her. But you can't get mad at her for wanting her credit and respect. Like, you know what I'm saying? She been holding, she been holding the team down, as some would say. You, and then... All that. Let's go back to let's go back Fuck to some let's go back to some other Fuck shit. How what, when did when did start Nick when did niggas start walking up for you for pictures? At the Brotherly Love, <laughs> that Brotherly Love shit went crazy. Like uh, it did though. I put that shit on um, say cheese. Mm-hmm. Fuck, I lump some for the promo. How much they cut? How much? Did they I think at the time that shit was like four hundred. Oh my at goodness. the time, and then I'm probably like. But how was your ROI though? Was it worth it? Yeah. Mm. And then it was worth it, yeah, for sure. Like it brought a lot of attention. Like niggas, cake flock and then free cake flock, free cake flock. He, that nigga ain't getting no. But it, free cake flock he though, free like him though, free him though. Cause look, yo was posting my shit, right? Yo free posted him, my man. shit so many times. Like I remember niggas, my cousin and shit from New York, like my whole father side from New York, mm. and all my little cousins and them, they be sending me that shit. Like yo, cake okay, flock posted your shit. Even people on TikTok be sending me that shit. Like yo, okay, cake flock just posted your shit on the story, and I be like. Fuck no, my homeboys and shit would be like, <laughs> I'm like, fuck no. Niggas fuck be, no. This before they even drop their Brotherly Love shit. So mm-hmm. niggas be like, yeah, they got a song called Brotherly Love. They be high. They probably accidentally. Mm-hmm. But it, but niggas don't know, like, it was before that. So it'd be like, with them doing that little, you know what I'm saying? Brotherly Love shit really took a lot of shit for. Not mm-hmm. a lot. Even That's when hard. people would have to this day, niggas will come and be like, yeah, you're that Brotherly Love song. <laughs> like, that probably was huh? but it'd be like, That's nigga, hard. go listen to something else. <laughs> now I know before you, I know before like, um, this is just a this is just a um, experiential question for the people for the people that are always you know what I'm saying because you, you know what I'm saying we was rapping back when we was in middle school and for that for that type of change for that type of thing to happen does it feel like you starting to like quote unquote live your dream or like getting where you wanted to get in life? <sighs> it's more so the pursuit. Pursuit of happiness. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Cause it'd be like, what's your happiness? My happiness, the music shit. So it's like I'm, yeah, certain shit that I want is happening. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still on that route to that mm. goal. You get what I'm saying? Like the pictures are cool. That shit always gonna be cool. Now like, you have to always be dressed. Yeah, I feel like, or at least be a little clean. But at the same time, I don't be giving a fuck about that shit. <laughs> I don't. I don't even like get my hair done, hair cut. I feel like this. This is a good day. This everybody got on white tees today. Yeah, this is a good day for me. I'm not a lot of this. This bitch tight. But you a real nigga though. We we, we come from the cloth of wearing you white tees every day. Bitch tight, man. You know what I'm saying? She don't, she don't know nothing. She be looking at me crazy when I wear white tee every day. I'm like, she don't know about that era. Like, we come from. You don't the fuck era. with the white tees. She just she just never never ain't seen that shit like that before. Like, I feel you. I feel you. I feel it. She ain't, she ain't know we come from that era wearing the white tees. The white tees be cool. Like <laughs> be the cleanest nigga ever. White tee jeans and some clean shoes. Fuck, that's the it can't go wrong. You can never nigga, go wrong. Nigga stole my bitch in that, that outfit. <laughs> that's why That's why I'm like, from now on, from this day, I vow the white tee. Nigga did not steal your bitch. He ain't stealing. She wasn't yours. Yeah, she wasn't. You feel me? You just thought you was in the, the, the mind state of thinking that she was your bitch. And a nigga, young, just, a nigga just showed you like, nigga, this is not your bitch, nigga. This is our this bitch. This is our bitch. <laughs> Oh you feel God. you feel me though, bro. Feel, a nigga bro. just enlightened you. I feel you okay? Bro. I feel I'm alright. And you was like, oh, I don't like the share. You can have her. You get what I'm saying? No, for real. You, I'm playing the game. You too. made the executive decision to step aside from okay. that shared female. For real. You get what I'm saying? Which is smart. Yeah. That's okay. We all sometimes be in so the shout dark. out to that nigga though. We be in the dark sometimes. He probably still he he probably he was one of them niggas that don't you remember back when everybody had the dog tags yeah. and the white tee. He's uh, one of them niggas. Oh, with the with the jeans with the elevens. With yeah. the elite. <laughs> He had the elephants with the jeans and the white tee and the dog tag. Fendi belt. Oh, Fendi belt, belt tucked like this. Though. Super nigga. <laughs> Super nigga. God damn, that's got, a, that's some prom. Oh, that's prom shit. 2010. You know them was. Alright, he would have really coached if he had the H and M hoodie. On. <laughs> 
If you had the H and M hoodie on with the with the with the, with the uh, jeans and the Elevens and the white tee with the dog tag, with the out the mud hat on. Ah, with the out the mud hat on. Fucked out the mud with the street runners hat on. That should have been over for you, boy. Over. To this day, I'm, I'm way cash land for that shit. You know cash land hat. Hey, nigga, <laughs> bitch, getting took. You heard me. Hey, yo, niggas was in middle school with the cash line headbands on, uniform shirt, khakis. Yo, stop. Stop, yo. Cardigans, Cardigans was. Niggas was getting they bitch took by niggas with the cardigan. Cardigan had a hoodie on the boy. The hooded cardigan. Yo. The hooded cardigan. It was some type of shit that was fun. It's phony now, but them shits used to really get your bitch took. Yo, your bitch look, your bitch took. Yeah. You like, you niggas used to get they bitch took because niggas was faster oh my than them. Goodness. I'm tearing up. Niggas son. used to be faster than you, your bitch get took. It's over. I don't want to remember them times. It's over. Nigga, run faster than you, your bitch took. You the fastest one to park. Take right, me back to the Harachis. That was like the perfect time. Like the Harachis came out. That was, like the, that was, that was when I was at The Harachis <laughs> is like the perfect rise and fall of a sneaker. <laughs> like the Roshis. The Roshis, Harachis, and the old school vans. Oh, my God. Goodness. They like the perfect rise and fall of a sneaker. Nigga, when I had to sway her rises, you would have thought I had Gucci slides. Like. Yeah, niggas gonna tell me nothing when I first got my shit. Nigga, what? I had them bitches on with every fit, nigga. You can bring that shit back. You vow, you can do that shit, bring it back. No. <laughs> you, you. This nigga d just said, baby's off white. These ain't no Harachis. Oh, yeah, you can't That's what I'm harachis. saying. Niggas, this Harachis so bad, That's that shit over with. That shit over with. You good, Shawty? But, bro. We need to bring that back. Me, you, me, you personally need to bring the dog tags back and the Harachis. I, I might can fuck with you on the dog tags, <laughs> but the Harachis might be a done dilly. Oh. Only cause niggas be dissing the Harachis bad. Niggas might make you might be the only nigga wearing Harachis, and a nigga might come out with a song saying that nigga wear Harachis. That shit crazy. Y'all niggas still wearing Harachis. Harachis. Broke niggas still wearing Harachis. Oh. You feel me? Then you I'm happy. Like, if I if I damn. could fit mine today, I would still be wearing mine if I could fit them. <laughs> no, I was I was killing them with the suede. It was suede harachis, man. Right? It was suede. I got don't you remember when they was getting them on the custom website type shit? And the Nike ID. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yo, take me back, bro. You made custom swing your Rachis, bro. You was devious. You devious for that, bro. You made custom swing. Like, you willingly made swing shoes. You devious. The whole, yo, you would have thought I had on Gucci loafers. Them hoes was drooling over the mission. <laughs> and I had my little fake watch from the security mall. Oh, my With God. With little baguettes in there. Yo, shining. You were shining. Yo, I was having my shot. I was having my way. You was definitely having. You nah, was having. was crazy. You was having. You was having. Oh, shit. Nigga, I'm sorry. I tried to take the G-Shock off the Macy's. Bro, we used to be at elementary school. Fuck, it's about. Elder Brown, if this shit ain't glowing the duck, boy. Yeah, nigga. Boo. Ooh. You was shit. Hit the button bad. on the bottom. Your shit. You ain't Stop. Ain't Stop, because you had one. I had, I had, I had, I remember, I had the first fake one. You had and niggas, one. And niggas ain't know it. And then niggas realized my shit was fake. But oh, I had the first nice. fake one, the first fake one. Oh, yeah. You remember he was changing colors? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the RGB. I had the was white, then that bitch was gold. Oh, <laughs> no. I had the first, before anybody knew you could make a fake one, I had, because my father took me to the flea market. You know, how that bitch, you know how that bitch was supposed to glow? Yeah, his screen was glowing on that bitch. It ain't glowing the duck. You tapped the button on that bitch in the butt. Oh. The, the, the shit was changing colors that and all that. RGB. I remember that bitch, nigga. You, cause you were showing me that bitch in class. I looked tapping the button like that. Niggas be having it that way. And then I found out, like, we all all together we found out that that was the fake G Wop, G Shop. Niggas ain't had one, though, so fuck it. You fuck was it up. Though. He was up. Cause what? niggas ain't had one. For that little grace period when nobody realized it, I was that nigga. Yeah, for sure. But um, <laughs> but it be like, bro, rich niggas be doing that too, bro. You good? No, for real. Niggas just be watching too hard. You can't watch too hard. <laughs> what it is? Mind your business. Yeah, that's a bust down. You feel me? Uh, <laughs> Mind your business. Where man. have you been traveling a lot recently? Where are your favorite places to travel to? I I don't like to travel. Actually, why I mean, don't I, you? Like I to want travel? to travel. 
But it be like the shit that I be not wanting to do or you feel me, but it be like what to do. I be wanting to do some shit like Indiana Jones, Journey to the Center of the Earth type shit. Like Oh, like like trials and shit? I want to discover some shit. Like, let me stumble upon a portal to another dimension. Or something. Like, you get what I'm saying? Where is this at? What are you talking about? I just saying. You want to go to space? <laughs> something. I want to do something. Because think about it. Anything I travel and do, I low-key can do here. You get what I'm saying? Low key, yeah. Or low-key can do on another state. At a better price, too. You feel me? So it'd be like, all right, you want to get drunk and bump a couple songs, dance with your friends, you can do that in the crib, go get you a bottle for $40, $50. You'll be all right. Mm-hmm. It's just the experience to say, hey, I was in Mexico when I did this with the bros. Mm. We was at the hotel. We went to the little club, ate at the little restaurant, pulled with a couple pictures on the mm. ground, put some shit on. But it'd be like, when people be taking these trips, it'd be like, all right, what's the excursions you ready to do? Deep sea diving. We might go a little whale watching or Man, something. I don't even know all that. I'm scared. I can't even swim. Nigga, I did that shit in seventh grade, middle school. We was doing that shit. You feel me? Like, a lot of shit that niggas be fake doing, like, it'd be like, all right, I already did that shit. I used to stay in Jamaica. I went to the beach and the shit was up the street. I you was Jamaican. You was going to Jamaica. No, said I was Jamaican. Now you was Jamaican. <laughs> but yeah. You, were, you, you know, know you know how you feel me? I mean, personally, I don't, shit. Like the, I don't like to travel, like, where I can't, if I can't take my gas with me, I'm not traveling. Like, I'm not traveling out of the state. See, like, it'd be like, like I'd be fine and plugged. I know that sound crazy, like, nigga, why are you getting it's not plugged? That crazy. Yeah, but I'd be fine and plugged, like, substantial shit. And nigg- the difference between me and niggas is niggas always do dumb shit, like, don't examine their weed mm. or cop too much weed before they smoke it. Mm. You feel me? I be like, yeah, let me, you said 20, look, look, you feel me? I can get a little 20. Test it out real quick. You know what I'm saying? Look at it. Something like, you feel me? But it be like the traveling should be cool. I probably, I like Vegas. I want to go to Vegas, Vegas? again. I haven't yeah. been yet. Haven't Vegas been. was fun. Vegas was very fun for me. It I was, feel like that was fun. How much did you gamble though? I didn't gamble at all. You don't, you're not I didn't step into a casino. Wow. I don't gamble. You're better than me, bro. I don't gamble. Don't gamble. I don't even go on FanDuel. Don't do that shit. I don't know. Keep your money. Thank Nigga, you. When they, had to, when they first started doing this shit, when this shit became legal down here or whatever mm-hmm. the case may be, Nigga, they had the Lord promo shit for $200 free cash or some shit like that. You pay mm-hmm. some $5 bet. Mm-hmm. Place my little $5 bet. <laughs> Lost my shit. You lost nothing? Lost. Got my free Lord $200. Nigga, that shit be, the shit be fucked up because I be doing 22 legs and shit like that. Because mm. I be trying to make bank off of $5. Oh, yeah. You trying to come up. You nigga, I be up. trying to make 3000 off of $10. Nigga. Oh, yeah. No, you, you tripping. Nigga, no, you know like, what I saw? A nigga put $0.10 cents in, and that shit say he's going to make a million dollars. You feel me? I'm on that type time. And like, nigga, fuck it. We back. And then we might as well go big or go home. I oh, need all these no, niggas. No. But I think I hit once for like 600 Mm-hmm. Off of like five ten dollars. Okay. It was the I remember that game like it was yesterday. That shit was the Luka. It was Luka and them versus uh I don't think Kyrie was over there yet. Versus Giannis. Mm-hmm. I don't think Kyrie was over there. Yet. I think Kyrie was still in Brooklyn. But they they beat them niggas. I had uh. Who you think gonna win this year? I trust your opinion. Who you think gonna win this year? It's 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 crazy because. I want the Mavericks to win. Me too, for Kyrie. Right. But then it's just like, the Celtics is so well-rounded, it's ridiculous. Still for real. The Celtics is so well-rounded, it's ridiculous. So it'll be like, the Celtics got a better team on paper for sure. Their bench is well. Like, they've been in that situation before. Mm-hmm. This the this the, uh, the Mavericks' first real deep playoff run. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, they never been this far in a while. They got bum-ass niggas. Nah, I ain't going to say bum-ass niggas. But they got niggas like Gafford. He was playing for the Wizards. They he wasn't he's, nowhere. He's, right. he's a bum. You feel me? Garbage. They got the rookie dude, Lively. I like yo. He he can hoop though, but he's mm-hmm. still a rookie. So it'd be like, niggas on your ass. Mm-hmm. Poor Zingas on your ass. Big potato. That shit oh, for over. real. You feel me? That shit over. Poor Zingas. So, mm, Celtics got the edge. Tatum nice. Jalen yeah. Hoopin. Yeah. And he played defense. He, he I said played. defense. He played defense. He a good ass two way player. Like, get a bucket. So you don't know. You Strap. can't even tell me who. The Celtics might take it, but I want the Dallas. I want Dallas to win. Okay. I want the Mavericks for sure to win because old man Kyrie made it back to the finals. Why don't you have a sports show yet? Uh, cause niggas not gonna fuck with my takes. My takes be more so biased. I think we should talk about giving you a sports show. My shit be more so biased. I'ma uh, try to fuck with Cam and Mason. Huh? Mm-hmm. See if they gonna let me on in one day. Might freestyle with show. Nick. <laughs> 
Real shit. Them niggas don't even listen to rap music no more. They don't got to. They gonna listen to that I freestyle with Cam and I carry my week. I feel like you should. I feel like you should have like. Don't you know how um, how Gilly got his live shit. I think you should have that shit. It's just one girl on TikTok. Uh, I don't even know where she's from, but her name like Maria. Mm. And she be doing hella sports analysis. She's a woman? She yeah. black? Black. What? Shout out to the black queens. I've never heard of a black woman Take a shot for the black being queens. in basketball. So am I, I'm about to finish my cup. Oh, we on the same level. All right. I just want to know, because I, I did all this catching up. Um, let's talk about some more music. What What do you feel like when, Nick, when the artist is dropping a project, you know what I'm saying? Like, what... What should what it, I don't I don't I hate to I don't want you to give away your sauce but like if a nigga like a rollout you know what I'm saying nah give, it's never giving away sauce give out a rollout you know what I'm saying for somebody I be telling niggas all the time like especially if my homeboys or something trying to rap I be telling like nigga ask me a question nigga I be willing now but I would say just get to all your ducks in a row mm. and that mean like nigga make sure your shit done your cover art what's the fucking title of your shit you know what I'm saying. Is your cover art even hard? Like, make sure your shit hard. Is your songs mixed or do they need to be mixed? Whatever the case may be. Got your track list. I'm too far from the mic. Listen a little bit. You got your track. I'm trying to you gotta get the ducks in a row. I'm trying to tell you. Your track, your track list, like what song's gonna be on there? Is it a body of work or you just throw the songs together? Is it like a you know what I'm saying? Just make sure everything in order. That's all. Mm-hmm. And you'll be good. You feel me? You got visuals. You got some type pictures. You feel me? You so got some type so content. You think, you think nigga, instead of just because a lot of people they just they just make that first song and release it and just go literally by song by song. You than, could, but I still would say like, even if you don't have a, like a standard track list like a picture, like make sure the picture hard. Mm. It could be a picture of you fucking standing in the broken up ass shed smoking a blunt. Mm. As long as the picture look hard and you put that as your cover. You good. It don't always gotta be some fancy ass drawing or hundred dollar ass motion cover graphic. Like you feel me? As long motion as it's graphics hard, is old school. As long as it's hard, you feel me? You'll be fine. Like a lot of niggas don't even be blowing up off of their cover art. Like TK and them, they be blowing up off of fucking little ass pictures, like random ass pictures. Yeah. The picture might be a little hard or a little blurry, yeah. but it don't gotta be nothing too specific. You just gotta make sure like it's something. I catch it. You feel me? Just make sure it's something. I feel like it's going to be hard if we try to detail what eye catching is. So I feel like just like it goes all the way back to like if you're not your number one fan, if you don't love that the way that so you, you get look, what I'm saying. Yeah, when you, you look at your shit, you gotta be like, yeah, this hard. You feel me? And that's versus even if you want to get a hell of money on a graphic or whatever the case may be, you guys gotta make sure it's hard because you can still spend that money and the vision that you want it won't even come out like how it was supposed to. Now, what is the budget for this set set roller? Uh. Or oh, cause a lot of niggas don't even have us. They don't even they can't even comprehend. Shout out my little nigga KFNRL. You feel me? When he really touched some real cheese, like when he really touched some real cheese, like mm-hmm. bands and shit like that. Like he got he touched cheese. You feel me? For a little nigga, he probably like fifteen, sixteen. But when he touched some real cheese, he gonna do a lot. Like you'll be adding his own videos. You feel oh, me? Real? Yeah, I've seen his videos. He added his like own him. videos. You feel me? Regardless if it got a million edits, if it got one edit. Mm-hmm. To he added his own videos. I can't even sit and cut up no type clips that I do. You get what I'm saying? So for the simple fact that he's doing that at a young age, when you touch some bread, it's going to be good. So it's like your budget is what you can do, what mm-hmm. you can afford, what you're willing to pay for, what you're trying to get your vision, and who can bring your vision out and who you're working with to bring your vision out. If you know a nigga who is a million-dollar camera nigga, but this is your blood brother or this is a nigga that you watch, from when you was young and boop 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 and he said he gonna do your videos for free knowing his videos worth a million dollars you get what I'm yeah. saying but then if you gotta work and do your video how you can do it like alright I'm gonna shoot in this room right here I'm gonna probably sit in this little window sill mm-hmm. and have it at an angle where it's facing up and maybe put a little edits in it you feel me that's what you gotta do and just try to make it look to the best that you can as long as your songs and stuff is good nine times out of ten if you look back at a lot of these niggas videos who first blew up they don't be the most hardest you feel me flashiest videos and shit like it be that sound that you was talking about you before. feel me it don't always be the best quality video don't get me wrong like nobody always gonna expect the best quality video but mm-hmm. just make sure you try to be as creative as possible like Brent Fire has fucked the world that video wasn't as high quality, but 
he made sure he put little creative shit in it. The cuts and the little drawings and little shit like that. Okay. He made it creative. Just try to be creative with your shit. Mm. Your budget, I can't mm. never tell somebody a budget because yeah. it'd be like, you never know who they know or what this person can do. They might have a connection where they don't have to pay that you for You feel them. me? So it'd be like, just try to work with what you can. Work with what you and got. And do the best of the shit. Like, eventually that should've, if the song a hit and you drop a video for it, nigga just wanted to see you. Mm. What this nigga look like? Her. Niggas just wanted to see what she looked like. No, for real. You feel me? Yeah. It'd be like, niggas just want to see your face. Niggas just want to see you. So just get that shit out there. Try to be creative and get that shit out there. I can't really give you a specific budget, though, because mm. everybody pot is different. You feel me? Oh, I have three more questions. Three last questions. These are the three last questions. The number one, what is your is Friday night? You just got paid and you about to go out. What's the move? About to go out? Yeah. Like, what's your move? What you doing? go out? Uh, you like to go with the hookah? You like I'm a hookah nigga, you know. Not the hookah. The hookah is bad. Yeah, I would <laughs> say like I don't really go out, so I say hit the bros, fam. You old fuck niggas doing? If niggas with they shorties, if niggas not, if I'm with my shorty, if I'm not, you feel me? Boom. So we gonna just say everybody not. So we gonna say we gonna <clears throat> grab some grass. Mm-hmm. Probably grab some Don, preferably the Anejo. Preferably the Don. If we don't got no Don, we might fuck with some Remy. The Remy? Ooh, that's a demon time. <laughs> fuck with the Remy. The Remy Nigga, my smooth. mother drink Remy. I fuck with the Remy. That bitch uh. smooth. Uh, you know, got Remy, might get a little Curtin Sweeney. Uh. That's different shit. That's some sweet that's, rum. That's what I'm saying. That's some different shit. Might get a little, what else niggas be fucking with? What else you be fucking with, dummy? That a male, the uh, Don Julio a male. Uh, oh, the, the tall bottle? Woo! Yeah, y'all niggas getting. Yeah, we fuck with the, all the flavors, the Don, Don, But where, Don. where are we going? We going to the club? Or we going no, to we going to, to the crib, bro. At the crib? Cut some we going, going to bro crib, you oh, feel me? Get some bread. Get some food, you feel me? Whatever you want. Like, we going to say there's some fancy shit, so we fuck around, go to fucking Miss Carter's. All Ooh, the way Ms. Carter's. Okay. Get some soul food, spend a couple of hours with Shorty. Finger lick and shit. You feel me? Or we might get some halal shit. Mm. Halal food be busting. Like what? What? Like either. Get the con- I get the combo over right. So that's the lamb man and chicken. Oh, I didn't even know they had you that. You feel me? Extra, extra <laughs> lamb salad. Lamb and chicken. Yeah, extra salad. Write this down. This is the part you're supposed to write White down. White sauce, red sauce. White sauce and red sauce. White sauce, red sauce. This that's real nigga shit. You write this, shorty. You need to write this down too. And get a pita bread. Pita bread. You feel me? Get you your pita bread. Extra white sauce. Make sure they put in a container. That's like mayonnaise. I don't like mayonnaise. It's not really mayonnaise. It's like a. It's mayonnaise in it. It's like a. It might be. It is. I can taste it. Like (laughs) I don't like mayonnaise, man. It'll taste but strong as shit. It'll be tasting the coriander shit. I'll be tasting that shit. I'll be like funny shit. Bitch, is a little pepper in here. Yeah, you'll find this shit. Nah, 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 nah. You get the pita. You might get a little bit of. You can stop at the store and get you a Dorito. Nigga say y'all be grilling. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, I need to put. I I don't don't be grilling. Who be grilling? Him and my man's wrong. Y'all be grilling, grilling. Y'all be making like pork and shit. Big brother Chubba. <laughs> Big brother Chubba. Since the summer started, nigga, we probably been grilled like seven times. Yeah, them niggas bought a grill seven, and went grilled times. crazy. What? They brought a Stop grill and they go in there. Yeah, my man be making the ribs. They making the ribs? And my man's they wrong. Be making the ribs. I done asked a, I done, I done asked a lot of niggas, like, yo, what? And that's the only one I'm like, all right, I can, I can come, I can pull up that. I'll yeah, bro, we, I ain't gonna lie, we having something for 4th of July, bro. 2000 spot. <laughs> you can pull up, go ahead, vlog, get what you need, get your content, talk to people, ask people some questions, do what you gotta do. But you can definitely pull up. That shit gonna be lit. We gonna have some fireworks. Fireworks? And guess what? Of July. We really, we really, I don't wanna jinx it, so I don't wanna say it. Right, but we really the. Knock on wood. All right, too much wood knocking, too much wood knocking. We really, like, I can say we host some lit events, drama free. That's all I need to hear. I mean, drama. For the last two years, it ain't that. What is it over east or over west? It's right here. It's right here. Right here. I know you around here, brother. Right here. Right here. I bet. You're right here. I bet. No more. We didn't say no more. No more for the camera. You feel me? Come on, have fun. And it'd be like, see, I be telling niggas, but niggas don't be trying to come in and they be waiting for me to post something. But it be like, pull up or shut up. You shouldn't have to wait till the IG post. Cause trust me, like it be like, it be like, 
by the time you already see the post, it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. It ain't already been too late. It's over. We're going to talk about that off camera. Is I it can't. the second? That that was the second question or the second? First. That was the first question. Shit. What's the second question? You the one that's asking What's questions, the, nigga? <laughs> Shit. The second, question, the second question is... Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. What is three things you want people to take from this interview? Uh, Have fun. Uh, well, when I say have fun, this also ties into don't be so serious all the time. Like you can have a serious conversation and still be lighthearted and still be funny, comical, and all that. It don't always gotta be so serious and intense, especially with life. Uh, another thing is you can do this shit too. I'm a regular person. He a regular person. You feel me? We just decided to do certain shit, and people like the shit that we do, and they tune in. That's you can do that shit too. You feel me? Just be likable and don't force it. Mm-hmm. Uh, third thing, I should have said that first, <laughs> but keep God in your life, bro. Always put God first. Always stay positive, stay prayed up. Like, I ain't yeah. saying you got to be religious and over being church and do all that. But you feel me? Be positive. Put out love into the world and put God first. Stay prayed up and stay safe. I should have said that first though, so we gonna go. Just like how that could have been, she said. He said, "I put my family first, my friend." <laughs> you talking about? <laughs> I put my family no, first. My I friend. see the video of this nigga mad as shit because they keep asking you about that could have been shit. Like it was just one chill. <laughs> he back in the hood and shit. He was chill. That shit is him. so funny, bro. Juicy not right for that, bro. We gonna talk about that all camera, but you was not right for that. All right, the last thing is, no, is, is, is it's not really. Do you have any questions for me? Anything I didn't cover? Anything? Uh, my question for you is, bro, aside from podcasting or doing your episodes with your channel, like, mm-hmm. when are you really, cause seriously, like, since we was young, like, I feel like not even uh, your creativity, just like your mind, space, and thinking, you feel me, mm-hmm. been different. So even when you make certain songs, like, I remember you used to send me unreleased songs, like, when you used to post on SoundCloud and shit, like, it be different sounds. Like, yeah. you're very experimental with your music, you feel me? Like, I was talking about, uh, is it too late? That's a hit. If you, y'all watching they this, don't know about that. They know go bump podcasts. that, is it too late, by Blase Chris. And you gonna be that. like, this nigga made that song? <laughs> You gonna be like this nigga made that song? They don't know nothing about yes. that. Yes. They don't even go know Go bump that, is it too late, by Blase Chris. That shit be having me in my feelings. Cause I don't understand the pain that I had. Hey, that I, what we doing? Oh, those nights. We need a refill, though. Stay the drinking. Oh, those nights. We stay the thinking. You just made me feel in pain. Now just don't make me feel basic. Oh, oh. That shit deep, though. That you is, feel that me? A deep song. So it'll be like, turn in, but. I just want you to know, like, when you gonna drop? I need, I need, I need people to help me get have enough confidence to come back in the game. Gotta be around them people. Yeah, I've been, I've been, I've isolated myself. Like certain niggas went to jail, and like certain people I was close with, and like shit, just and I just very isolated. It'd be like that, cause sometimes you can't be around certain energies. You mm. feel me? You, you get in the basket with some rotten fruit, you might get rotten, and you a fresh fruit. You feel me? So. Not calling you free. No, 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 <laughs> no. I feel what you're saying. I feel what you're saying. <laughs> you like, you got your free. I feel what you're but saying. No, nah, but, like, you put that shit in a rotten basket, like, and you was fresh, you're going to get contaminated, you feel me? So it be like that, like, it's okay. You're going to get around some good energy in due time. It's okay for isolation. Once you isolate yourself, the universe going to eventually put you around the people that you need to be put around. He is. You're here. You're here today. So we tapped in. He was, he was saying he's going to have his own sports show. Sign this contract right here. Here's the contract. Sign this contract. Open it up. I got to cut, cut my wrist. Yep, you got to put blood. It's Illuminati, all that shit. You use a sports show on the Blase Network. You use a stamp. It's like, nah, let me stop playing. But they come get me. You fake ass I'm gonna blame you. I'm gonna call you like yo. Yo, them niggas not listening to this. We've been compromised. They not worried about me. They know. They know. They know. Oh, that hey. nigga dumb. This free promo for my man Will Smith and him. Go watch that Bad Boy movie. Oh, yeah, watch that shit. Uh, you know, we was young as shit when that yeah, shit that came shit, out. That was our bro. shit. We're the only people that that care that we knew that we care bro, about. Bro, this one, I feel like this one was better than the last one. Not a lot. You already saw it? Yeah, I was watching it today. All right, all right, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't spoil it. Hilarious, though. We gonna watch it. 
Um, <clears throat> next time you see me, I will tell you if the Bad Boys movie was good or not. Next to you, hopefully you come back here. We tap in. We got a whole bunch of I shit. I will. Go screen. Sorry, I missed your car. Out now. By your boy, Benji Picasso. Produced by your boy, No Signal Rotten. Engineered by KB. I appreciate them for tapping in with me. Appreciate for bro bringing me on the show. My nigga. And it's another episode. We'll be going to tune into your next episode of Dragon Ball Z. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. You not you don't know when your next episode is coming up? No. I have to edit all this shit first. I like that though. Spontaneous. You're gonna see it. They're gonna see it. I like it. Um, I'll be back though. Yes, you will. Wait for me. Wait for him. Um until oh what you about to say? Wait for me. Wait for him. <laughs> Wait for him. Until next time, um until next week, holla at your boy. Goodbye. Wait for me. Wait for him.